Hey guys, it's Kimberly, and today we are doing a different kind of video. Still very makeup related fun video, but as you can see, I already have my makeup done today because we are not going to be doing makeup, but we are going to be talking about some products. More specifically, we are going to be talking about the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Master Brush Collection. Now, I do already have a video on my channel about this brush collection. However, I wanted to make an update and I wanted to kind of just talk about the quality of Morphe brushes and whether I think they're worth your, pur your purchase or not. So this brush set right here, I actually purchased about a year ago, give or take, maybe a little bit more than a year ago when this launched. So it's been out for quite some time. She did just also launch like a smaller add-on remix collection of brushes and that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the original Jaclyn Hill X Morphe brush collection, the master collection that launched about a year ago. So the reason that this whole thing came up is my sweet boyfriend Liam was trying to help me get the master remix brush collection when that launched with her volume 2 palette and because my internet wasn't working so he was trying from his computer at home and he thought that this was what I wanted and so he purchased this which is so sweet um obviously that he was trying and helping me out he usually helps me out with launches and I guess it just recommended him this one he clicked on it real fast just trying to get it in his cart so I could have it and this is a collection I already own this one right here so now I have two and he is such a sweet, sweet boyfriend, he is letting me keep the second one. Um, he said it was his mistake and that I could consider it a donation to the cause. So that was so sweet. And since I got a brand new set, I just thought that it would be a good idea. Actually, I should give credit. Liam thought maybe I should talk about an update of how the brushes have held up and the quality of the brushes and my opinion on the brushes. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of an update video. So this right here is my original collection and I did not wash these brushes for this video because I want you to see like how used they are. And so these are all my, oops, these are all my original brushes right in here. And these are all of them. I still have all of them all together. And I usually just keep them in my drawer but sitting like this, open in this, just keep them all together. And that is my favorite way to use them. And I will say, I think that these brushes are phenomenal. I am primarily a Morphe brush user. I do have some crown brushes and I have some miscellaneous brushes that I've just picked up along the ways because I do have, you know, things here and there. But my brush collections, my main core brushes that I love to use are Morphe brushes. Before I had this Jaclyn Hill sparkly silver one, I did purchase in the same box, it was a Jaclyn's favorite. I started watching Jaclyn, so pretty much anything she recommended I did purchase. But th these weren't um, like a full collaboration. None of these are her custom brushes. They are normal Morphe brushes. She just made like a bundle and picked out all of her favorites. So that is this set right here. Not all of them are in here because some of them are dirty. Um, like need to be cleaned dirty. But... I love this collection so much and I just love all of the Morphe brushes that are in here and this is even older than this collection so this is I want to say at least two years old maybe three years old and all of these brushes have held up so good I have not had a single Morphe brush break on me I don't have any real issue with like um any bristles fraying or getting any loose bristles on the face. I have washed them all many times. I don't have any issues with them like puffing out or weird. They dry perfectly fine. None of the ferrules have come loose. None of them have fallen off. I love all of these brushes so much. And now that I'm moving on on these, I just wanted to kind of talk about them and tell you about how good of quality they are. So this is my foundation brush and I've been 
going back and forth between this one and this one, both Morphe brushes. And these are pretty much the only foundation brushes I use every single time I do my makeup. So they get a lot of wear and tear and I have not had a single problem with either of these brushes. And they're still super sturdy. I couldn't even wiggle the ferrules if I wanted to. And yeah, I mean, obviously you can see there's no fraying, no nothing, perfect condition. And besides the brushes being in really good condition, I do feel like this is a really good assortment of brushes, and I feel like I do get good use out of all of them. If you're a super basic makeup wearer, and you use like minimal products and minimal brushes, maybe this is a little overkill, because it is quite a decent sized set. It's quite a big set. However, I feel like it is very well rounded. You have a little bit of everything. So if you are a makeup artist out in the field, doing your job, whatever, if you are a YouTuber, or if you are just a makeup artist for yourself and love to do makeup and get a little bit more in depth with your looks and get a little bit more creative, this is like pretty much an everything you could need kind of a kit. So I do really appreciate that. And again, Morphe brushes are not that expensive, for the quality. I mean, like I said, this is a year old. My other brushes are two to three years old and I haven't had any problems with the quality of the brushes whatsoever. So you are paying for the longevity of the brushes and the quality of the brushes. Whereas some other brushes, you know, cheaper ones, Amazon ones, just, you know, whatever, little random ones, Sometimes they fall apart when you wash them. If any water gets into the ferrule, it can really start to dissolve the glue and separate everything. And I have not had any of those issues with these brushes whatsoever. Also, to note, I just got some of this in the background, some of the Cinema Secrets. I haven't tried it out yet. I just got it from Amazon. I'm really excited to try cleaning my brushes with this. But I, up until now, when I try this, I have solely been a shampoo and water washer so that's how i've washed all my brushes i just get like cheap shampoo i know a lot of people use baby shampoo i just use regular shampoo because i just do i get like the cheapest shampoo at shop right and i have one of those little rubber mats i got it at like marshall's it was super cheap with the little bumps on it and i just wet my brush put a little dollop of shampoo run it on the mat like this, wet it, run it, wet it, run it until there's no more suds, squeeze out all the water, and then I lay it flat on a towel. That's how I take care of my brushes, and I have never, ever had a problem. So just in case you were curious um, how I clean my brushes or if you need any tips, that is like the easiest way to do it, I think, and I can just do them all real fast, just keep the water running and swirl in there, and it's so easy, shampoo, it can be so cheap whereas like this wasn't that cheap i do like that this is rinse free and it also says that it kills 99.99 percent of bacteria i feel like this is really good for color switches and for um makeup artists who are on the go and don't have access to a sink and the whole gambit i like this a lot and i'm very excited to try it but it's not cheap and if you are just using your brushes on yourself I mean, there's no need for you to be doing like a triple, quadruple sanitation whole shebang. It is important to clean your brushes. These are going directly on your face. You are spreading oils. Oils are sticking on the brushes and getting back on your face and you're just re recycling all of that bacteria. So it is important to clean them, but there is nothing wrong with just getting a shampoo and shampooing your brushes. So I definitely recommend that. But yeah, overall in this kit, I use the foundation brush constantly. I use the powder brush constantly. This is like one of my favorite brushes for bronzer. This is hands down my favorite blush brush. And I'm like so excited to have a second one in this kit now because this is the only one and I refuse to use another brush for my blush. This is the only one that graces these cheeks. Unless it's absolutely dire that I have another brush, something got on this, it's dirty, whatever, then sure, fine. But if this is there, this is the only one I'm grabbing. Love this brush. I don't even know how I lived without it before. I've got, like, I love this highlighter brush. And then, like, some of these, like, didn't even get washed. I love all of the eyeshadow brushes. There's a lot of different variety in here. We have some of the, like, packer brushes. We have fluffy blending brushes one to like tight line with, which is just perfect. There's such a good variety. This is such a funky brush, but it has very specific uses 
and there's not many other brushes you can do it with. You know, I feel like if you want to use a specific technique that involves this brush, you either have this brush or you don't. It's gonna work or it's not. And so I don't use this brush a whole ton because I don't typically use techniques like um, where I stamp the loose powder for my eyeshadow or I don't bake a whole ton under here to get it really chiseled. But on the chances that I do want to, I find that it's almost impossible to do without this. I love this brush for that. This is great for spot concealing, concealer. It's just like the perfect little size for that. And especially if you um, are a makeup artist and doing other people with spot concealing, this is perfect. A lot of times I blend in my concealer with my foundation brush, but if I really wanted to go for that perfect flawless look and I don't wanna blend the concealer, put any foundation over top to darken it up, wanna keep it its bright color, this is like perfect. It gets right in the corner so easy. I love this brush for just wiping off if there's any fallout or anything and you want to get it nice and easy. The bristles are so long and they're just very flimsy and flexible. So it just dusts off so nice. These little pencil brushes. I believe the Morphe little pencil brushes were like the first tiny pencil brushes I've had. And I don't know how I did my makeup without like... There is no good way to do your under eye eyeshadow without a tiny little detailed brush. And that's what's nice. There's a couple of small detail brushes in this as well. So it gives you, like I said, a good range. It has tons of face brushes in it. And then it also has, I mean, tons of eyeshadow brushes and they're all very different, which I think is important. Also, something I like to do is I, I put my dirty brushes, my eyeshadow brushes, as you saw, some of these purple ones. I put them back in this container for the purpose of this video just so I had them all in one place and could show you. But where they are about to go is I like to keep this on my vanity right here. It's just a little skull glass. It's so cute. I got it from Marshalls. If you didn't know something about me, I love skulls, which is so random and so weird and not a lot of people are a fan of that. But I love dark things i love skulls in particular so i think this jar is just so me so perfect and this is where i put my dirty brushes so you can see all my like fun colored stained brushes at the moment and then once this thing gets full because it's not super big i feel like that's a good way to measure it once it gets full i will wash my brushes um and i will use guilty a lot of face brushes multiple times before i wash them i definitely do not wash them every single time i use them but Basically, when I fill this with eyeshadow brushes, I will wash my face brushes as well. So those just kind of get tossed back in there and they get reused. But I do use multiple brushes when I do one eye look. So this does fill up decently quickly. So kind of, I, that's how I gauge it. I would say maybe, I don't know, every two weeks or so, I, I feel like I wash my brushes, which is honestly probably not often enough, but you know we're not all perfect so because these brushes have held up so good my plan for this was that i was going to keep this brand new one and replace it and these brushes that are kind of on the older side since they are in such good condition i would never think of throwing them out i mean they are perfectly good there are a couple of brushes that i'm going to keep because i would like to have doubles of them um and some of the brushes i had my sister go through and look at because she was someone who was using collections from amazon they were actually the bs mall brushes which i do recommend if you are looking to get some nice makeup brushes on a budget they are so cheap and it is a big set of brushes and they're just like they're great. I'll link them down below just if you want to look into them. Um, just as a starter, that's what I started with via small brushes and they worked great for me. However, they are not of the same quality. The bristles are nice and it makes your foundation look... Your makeup can come out looking just as good as with using these Morphe brushes, but they just don't last nearly as long. And my sister's, the ferrules, so this part right here has keep detaching from the the handle of hers and she's gone through two sets of them, which isn't crazy, but she has and right now she doesn't have any makeup brushes that are like 
she doesn't have a foundation brush. Some of her brushes are just gone. Um, so I let her pick some of the brushes that she needed from this. And after I make this video, because I want to make this video first, I'm going to wash them and give those brushes to my sister because she can definitely use them. And like I said, these brushes are in such good condition. I do not feel bad giving her these hand-me-down brushes instead of the brand new ones at all because they are just as good quality and there's literally nothing wrong with them at all. So I know that she is going to get a year, if not more, out of these brushes. They're just, they're, they're so sturdy. They're made so well. And it's not even specifically the Jaclyn Hill ones. That's just the new ones that I got that my boyfriend um, purchased. So that's what I was making this video about. But that's why I wanted to show you the black case that I got previous to this one because those are also all Morphe brushes that have held up just the same and have not had a single issue with. And I've had those for twice as long. So, you know, I really do put my faith in the quality of Morphe brushes. And I do think that they are long lasting products. And they're not the most expensive brushes on the market. Granted, they're not like cheap. It's still an investment, you know, these brushes, but they are not nearly as expensive as some other brushes on the market. So if you're looking to spend, you know, a moderate amount of money on brushes and you want to get like a nice full kit, I think that this kit is good. I know they're still selling this. I don't know if they're still selling this one, but they are very similar. I mean, it has the same powder brush. It has this brush. It has this brush, which is like, Pretty much the same shape, different brush, but pretty much the same shape. Um, and it has this like extremely similar highlighting brush and it has a bunch of eyeshadow, but so it is very similar. Um, it has the same stamping brush. So this was also a really good kit. I do know um, they have a lot of different kits on the Morphe website, but overall I would say that yes, big thumbs up, the Morphe brushes do get they get it for me and I totally recommend them. I do not work with Morphe at all. I'm not affiliate at all. This is just my opinion and I've had these brushes. I purchased them with my own money and I, I do love them so much. So I definitely recommend. I will say that on the Morphe website, when you go to the brush collection like area, they have tons of sets and bundles. There are a few bundles. I think they're like towards the bottom. You can just see in the picture that they are of a different quality. They look much poorer quality and like just not as nice at all. And the price reflects it. So when you see like they have all their normal pricing and it's all kind of the same like ballpark. And then you see like the really cheap brushes. I've never tried any of those. So there's nothing to say that they're not nice. But even just the style of them, they just don't look as luxury. And maybe that that's where they cut the corners. Maybe it's cheaper because it's not as pretty looking um but it might be of the same quality it's just cheaper packaging i'm not really sure um but i haven't tried those but i do know that all of these like the r collection and the m collection and all of these jaclyn hill brushes they have truly stood the test of time and i definitely back them up 100 percent so I hope that this video was helpful and if you have any questions about my brushes or my cleaning routine or anything like that, definitely leave them in the comments below. I would be happy to respond to you and answer your questions. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.